today we will start another chapter light that is reflection refraction now light is the form of energy this light produces sensation of sight the right for our eye okay it produce some sensation okay plants carry out photosynthesis what is photosynthesis preparing its own food with the help of this synthesis with the help of sunlight here certain cell this is called photocells these are called what photocells changes what is photocells photoelectric effect what is photoelectric effect when light falls on certain metal metal example sodium cesium and all that this light falls on this metal and it emits electron the production of electron due to the light or photo or photon is called this electron flows in one direction in any conductor then it produces the current in the opposite direction when electron flows in one direction current in the opposite direction therefore electric current is produced due to the light light energy therefore light energy converted into electrical energy and this phenomenon is called photoelectric effect there are so many effect and light is also produced there which is the major source of our light sun light is also produced with the help of candle bulb fluorescent lamp gas lamp and all that that's not an our uh, point of discussion now you know what the light is now the the light follows certain laws the characteristics of light because light travels in a straight line you have done that uh, in lower classes the pinhole camera that uh, what is the rectilinear propagation of light that is the character light will not bend in higher classes uh, it bend not in lower classes <laughs> now light it bends there are lot of different uh, rules uh, what is that uh, conditions are there under uh, what condition the light bends but now at present we are confined ourselves to the light travels in a straight line the rectilinear propagation of light light travels in a straight line this property is called rectilinear propagation of light propagation means traveling rectilinear means linear linear straight line like rectilinear propagation of light which is the important phenomena see this is the wall you throw your ball on the wall the ball get reflected if i throw it certain angle say the ball will come that side this goes and hit and come back the same way since light is going in a straight line the light goes and enter instead of wall you keep a mirror here a mirror symbolically i represent like this this is completely polished well polished here painted with the mercury or something like that okay it is fully opaque this is transparent when light enters it get reflected now there are certain laws first law the law of reflection a well polished this is called well polished smooth surface or reflecting surface is called reflecting surface is called mirror you take a mirror right now i am sending one color particular color red color or one particular color monochromatic light could they call mono means single color monochromatic light when a light enters that means traveling this direction a b it hit it hit here and at this point to draw a normal what is called normal normal means perpendicular this is called normal perpendicular to the mirror okay now the light enters at an angle of 45 degrees say. right now it get reflected this is incident then this is get reflected and this angle also 45 degree that means this is angle of incident this is angle of reflection 
this is angle of incident incidence this is angle of reflection and both are equal now the first law this is called law of law two laws are the laws of reflection uh, you have studied in high, uh, in your class the first law first law is what the incident ray this is called incident ray this is reflected ray reflected ray and the normal this is called normal normal is the normal where the normal at the point of incident which is the point of incident point of incident is b the incident ray the reflected ray and normal at the point of incident all lie in the same plane all lie in the same plane therefore this is the first law the incident ray is called incident ray reflected ray and the normal at the point of incident all lie in the same plane the ray comes here and comes back it is not coming and going like that somewhere up everything in the same plane is plane of the paper therefore the first law they'll ask you for one mark state first law of reflection what is that the incident ray reflected ray and normal at the point of incident all lie in the same plane next So what is the second law? The second law of reflection. This is second law of reflection. Second law of reflection. The angle of incident. This is what A P N A P A B N. That is what A B N. Angle of reflection equal to angle of reflection. Angle of incident. Eh? It's called angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection what is angle of reflection that is a b n this is c b n c b n the angle of incident equal to angle of reflection this is the second law this also one mark therefore the angle of incident equal to angle of reflection this may be the first law you can say or this may be the first law why whichever it is but you have to write both the law in the examination therefore law of reflection that is called laws of reflection the first law you can call like this also or this also the incident ray the angle of incident incidence i n incidence c incidence equal to angle of reflection that is the first law second law the incident ray the refracted ray the sorry reflected ray reflected ray and normal at the point of incident all lie in the same plane therefore they ask you for two marks okay now we have learnt uh, the uh, one simple law next i will go to the mirror what is a reflection along the mirror there are two types of mirror one is a concave this is called concave mirror concave mirror here what it looks like a cave is it not cave It's cave remember a cave this is a cave concave because this is an all uh, stones and this is a small uh, uh, in uh, space inside the cave the rock 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 cave you remember this the concave concave mirror this is the opaque portion on camera then what convex mirror see convex mirror convex mirror here it is painted 
this is a reflecting surface this is called reflecting surface here a reflecting surface therefore reflecting surface is a spherical mirror maybe you be curved this is curved inward this is what curve inward or curve outward the reflecting what is spherical mirror a reflecting surface this is a reflecting surface curved inverse is called concave mirror what is concave mirror a reflecting surface a reflecting surface curved inward is called concave mirror they may ask you for one mark again what a reflecting surface a reflecting surface curved outward is called convex mirror they will ask you for one mark right curves the uh, concave mirror and convex mirror you have studied now um, there are some of the important uh, term in, uh, terms you must know i'll take the concave surface See, i can take this way also concave surface you draw in both the direction this side or that side now ab ab right ab is the portion of the concave, see, concave surface this concave surface now what is the center p this is called pole what is the pole pole is center of center of spherical surface this is a spherical surface now see suppose you take uh, what is that uh, a container of this type right you take the container out if you put a drop of water drop of water will stay here only right okay this is concave surface okay and what do you call this called bandli or whatever we don't know whatever you call in the kitchen you put a drop of oil or something the oil will stay at the pole pole is a center of spherical surface pole is a center of surface circle therefore pole is what is a pole center of the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror of a spherical mirror okay pole now if you continue this spherical mirror like this see if i continue this portion what i'll get i'll get a sphere isn't it i'll get a sphere now for the sphere you have a center c this c is called center of the sphere center of sphere and this center of sphere this is also called center of curvature we call center of curvature what is center of curvature center of curvature is center of sphere itself such that the spherical surface no this is spherical surface is a part of it part of the sphere therefore they will ask you what is pole for one mark pole is center of a spherical surface So spherical water reflecting surface, not uh, opaque surface. Opaque this one. And what is center of curvature? This is also they ask for one mark. Center of a curvature is the center of the sphere itself. Center of the sphere of which of which the spherical surface is a portion of it, portion of the sphere. Now, what is the radius of curvature? Sometimes they write R. Some textbook they write capital R. See, R is radius of curvature. If I put this angle of reflection, if I put like this, if I don't write anything, this is R. R is radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is the distance between the pole and the center of curvature. Radius of curvature is the radius of the sphere. Radius of the sphere, which the spherical surface is a part of it. Again, you have to tell these are radius of sphere, and uh, distance between the pole and the center of curve is called radius sphere. And what is the principal axis? What is the principal axis? A line passing through an imaginary line passing through imaginary line passing through center of curvature and pole is called principal axis. This is also one mark. 
what is the principal axis you learned what is the principal axis principal axis an imaginary line passing through center of curvature and pole of a spherical surface is called the principal axis and uh, the principal focus here you have so many definitions what is uh, focal length okay principal focus all that you ought to know i'll tell you what is this in the next class